is surrounded by a cloud of space debris and this endangers satellites. The so-called space debris has been an issue since the Cold War era space race between the United States and Soviet Union. But in the absence of solutions and with emerging countries like China and India having developed the ability to shoot down satellites, it has only gotten worse. So we have more than 750,000 particles flying around our tiny globe and um, of a size of at least one centimeter and they are endangering satellites. The amount of debris, ranging from dead satellites to specks of paint, is so great that the European Space Agency very frequently has to alter its satellite's course to avoid larger objects. Uh, very frequently, we have even to lift a satellite or go, uh, go to another direction. And that's also for the International Space Station. The International Space Station also has several warnings and sometimes, and you were the director also for the astronauts, sometimes it's so dangerous that the astronauts go into the Soyuz capsule uh, in order, in case an, uh, an impact happens, that they are secured. So it's really a day-to-day -day business. In April 2017, experts on the matter met in Germany for the 7th European Conference on Space Debris and talks addressed acute issues. One of these approaches is the Dutch Orbit Ed, designed to capture an out-of-control satellite and remove it from harm's way. It is being tested using a robot and a satellite model. Another approach is using deployable nets to catch derelict satellites as they tumble in space. Warner said it was necessary to stop polluting and remove all the garbage. Now I can discuss is this debris a German debris or Portuguese debris or Chinese debris. It doesn't matter. We have to get rid of it. Mirasol Abugadil, UNTV News and Rescue.